This video is about this plastic change cartridge. And what that does, it plasticizes the plastic as it flows from the top and around the edges and then gets squeezed out to this hole and out of the nozzle. So this is basically the nozzle right here. Um, this plasticizer does not have to be switched out. Uh, the reason you would want to switch it out is if you're changing the plastic from one base to another and you would like mechanically to take it out. Uh, this old metal part is going to contain all your old plastic around it and then the plasticizer with the new plastic will go in its place to allow a quick material change out. To take it out you would use this extension included with the machine and you would put it on a clamping plate and line it up with the injection nozzle which would be basically this part, the bottom of the plasticizer. The next step is to take off the upper hydraulic cylinder and take the piston out of the barrel so the plasticizer can freely come out from the top. Another very important part is to allow the machine to completely cool. If you don't have the machine completely cooled, then the plastic will, uh, will basically crack along the length of the plasticizer and would not come out in one piece. Then, align this part and continue jacking the bottom hydraulic to use another press press out this plasticizer from the bottom so it will come out from the top. Like this. going to pump it all the way up and eventually you'll stop moving since you'll run out of length of extension and in that case you should retract the clamp and use a second extension. Just like this. So there it is, uh, some of the plastic broke off inside and if some of this happens you can take it out with a screwdriver uh, and there it is right here, it contains most of the plastic around it. And after you vacuum the hopper and any residue of plastic stuck in there, just put the new plasticizer in its place like this. Thanks for watching.